Hi everyone, it's Linda again. Welcome back to my channel. I keep seeing questions on Stack Overflow about the Google OAuth and either the invalid grant error or an issue with the refresh token expiring. As you probably know, the whole point of a refresh token is that it's not supposed to expire. However, truth be told, they can expire. The invalid grant error can mean a lot of things, but in this instance, it can be fixed quickly by a simple click of a button. Let's start by looking at the cause of the error itself. If we look way down at the bottom of the documentation page for OAuth 2, we will find some information about the refresh token. Refresh tokens can expire, and as this lovely bullet list tells us, there are six reasons why it would expire. And this is mostly where developers stop reading. You see those bullet points and then you stop. If we look again at the documentation below that lovely bullet list, we will see a line that a lot of developers miss. If your application is in testing, your refresh tokens will expire after seven days. Actually, I've done a bit of testing on this. The refresh tokens aren't expiring. What Google is doing is revoking the user consent to your application. Basically, what that does is it goes and it revokes all refresh tokens automatically probably easier for them that way. But you can see this by going over to the user's uh, settings on Google and you can see the list of what apps you have authorized. And all of a sudden that one will be gone after seven days. So great, how do we fix that? Well, users come to Stack Overflow, they ask me this and I tell them, well, just go to the, Google Cloud Console, go to the OAuth consent screen and click publish app. It's that easy. That's all you have to do. But it seems there's a new pop-up. This new pop-up leads developers to believe that they need to verify their app. Now, in most cases, you do need to verify your app. If your app is going to be used by other users than yourself, then your app needs to be verified by Google. But if you are using a single user app, you are the only one who will be ever authorizing this. You don't need to verify your app. All you need to do is click confirm and reauthorize your application again, and your refresh tokens are gonna to stop expiring. That's why I am coming here and giving you this video. If you're using a single user app, you don't need to be verified. Ignore this pop-up, just hit continue, and your app will start working again. Now, if you are going to have other users using your app, then you need to be verified. But still, clicking on this button and putting your app into production, all that's going to do is enable your refresh tokens to stop expiring. You're still going to have to apply for verification after, and that's what will remove the, this is an unverified app screen once you've been verified. Well, I hope this video helped, and as always, have a great day and happy coding.